what's your name and how do you spell it? My name is Luisa Nagy and uh, it's spelled L-O-U-I-S-A-N-A-G-Y. And um, what class are you in? I am in the junior high, I'm in seventh grade, so. Okay, and how do you like Montessori? Um, I really enjoy it. I've been going to a Montessori school since kindergarten, so I really haven't had any other experiences, but I really have enjoyed um, coming to a Montessori school, um, and I've found that I, I've learned a lot, and I feel like um, with, yeah, just, I've, I've really enjoyed my experience here, so. Is there anything specific you like? Um, I enjoy the farm, uh, going to, I've been to the two different farms, uh, Prairie Winds Farm and Bertram Farm, which were both really fun, and there were different experiences, um, one, learning more about, like, biomes and, uh, spending more time in the woods and in the prairie, and then the other, spending more time with the animals and actually growing crops, um, and then, of course, here um, in the junior high, we work on campus, so that's been a lot of fun as well. Okay. And what kind of works do you do? Um, well, in junior high, it's more, we're kind of taking, we're not doing as many, like, ma works with the materials, though we do um, sometimes pull out like um, works, like I just made one the other day where you match the um, picture with um, the label and then what it does. So we were doing uh, the digestive system. So kind of, uh, and it helps you learn the different parts and um, kind of remember it better because you can manipulate it, so. Um, why would you recommend Montessori education? Um, over other, you know, a more conventional education? Yeah. Well, I think it allows for a more, like, free, um, that lets the student kind of take charge of the education, and um, I feel like I can work on math, like, on the math that I'm ready to learn. So, like, for instance, the reason I brought up math is because I've had, that's one of the more challenging subjects for me. So being able to um, move on when I'm ready and not just having to go with everyone else and slowing down um, the rest of the class. But then also being able to um, kind of go as deep as I want to in the thing to be able to, like, satisfy my um, want for learning. So I think that I would suggest it and um, recommend it to uh, other children uh, just because it's a really nice way to kind of feel uh, like it, you're not being forced into learning and being able to actually choose it for yourself more. And what about the hands-on component do you like to learning? Um, I find that it does actually help me learn and then having that experience earlier on um, in the lower levels, kind of when I'm doing um, the like more advanced works later on, it like I remember those ones and it kind of helps me, um, if I imagine those ones, it helps me uh, remember how to do or like remember what I've already learned. I don't know, I definitely uh, would love to see more people uh, know about Montessori school, but also uh, learn in a Montessori environment. So. Can I ask a question that keeps looking at her though? But, um, can you talk, since you've been here for so long, can you talk about leadership and how does that work in the, the multi-age the multi mm -hmm. environment? Like, uh, well, so I think that it's really nice in the, like in third grade, or no, in sixth grade and fifth grade, you're matched up with the incoming like fourth grade students or the children who are joining the environment um, like as a first time. And uh, so 
the older kids kind of help the younger kids and it's not so much the teachers uh, just doing everything, the uh, students kind of help each other. And then um, the children in upper L and junior high lead the meetings. So you have, like for instance in junior high when we have book group or um, we discuss uh, articles that we've been reading, we have students lead it and the guides only jump in um, if they have a point to make. But it's all our meetings are led by students. And, um, and then also we have jobs that all the students do. So it's really the led by the children and not so much by guides. And they took a, uh, some film of your whiteboard. Can you talk a little bit about the council meeting in the beginning of the day and, and who leads that and what, what yeah. ends up on the board? So on the, we have every morning we <coughs> gather as like a class and we read from a um, kind of like reflection book. So it has like a scripture passage and then it kind of has a reflection on that to start off the day so you can kind of think about that as you go about your day. And then we, and that's read by um, a seventh or eighth grader. And then we have business where you can bring up any um, like things that might have to be done throughout the day or any issues that you might have. Um, and then, yeah, so you can kind of talk through that, those. Um, and then we have the schedule. So that the schedule gets written up on the board so we know that like we have open work time, but then also if we have a presentation or if there's farm uh, when you need to be um, at those things. And then also we have um, our to-do list. So you have one that's due tomorrow, which is like, um, like math is due on Friday. Uh, we have journaling th for theology, which you're supposed to be doing every day. Um, and so like, and then any assignments we have get written up on the um, tomorrow. And then we also have due soon. It's kind of a reminder of what you need to be working on um, that isn't necessarily due the next day. Um, and then also any reminders of, um, like, make sure to water the plants in the farm lab or something like that can also go up on the board as um, just kind of, and since it's in that room when you first walk in, everyone can kind of see it. That's great. Thanks.